Welcome to the presentation on adding decimals. Let's do some problems. So let's say I had 0 0.008, that's an 8, 8, 5, plus, and I'm writing it side by side on purpose, 1.7. Nine. So at first you're like, these decimals, they confuse me, I give up. But I'm going to show you that it's actually very straightforward, and it's actually no more difficult than doing normal addition. And there's only one thing you have to think about when you do decimals. You have to line up the decimal points. So let's start with the first number, and let's rewrite it so that we can actually do the math. Point zero zero eight five. Now for the second number, let's put the decimal point right below where that first decimal is on the top number, and then rewrite the number. So it's 1.799. So notice all we did is we just rewrote both numbers with their decimal points lined up. And we could have flipped them around. We could have written the 1.799 first and the 0 0.0085 below it. But what's key? And, and if, if you get this point, and you already know how to do addition, you, you've already figured out how to do adding decimals, is that you, you line up the decimal points. So once we line up the decimal points, we're ready to start adding. But hey, Sal, there's something very strange here, you might say. How can I add this 5 to a nothing? Well, there's a, there's a very easy solution to that. Let's just put a 0 right here. Now how can I do that? How can I just randomly augment a number with a 0? Well. Um, I don't know if I've already shown you another module, but when you add trailing zeros to decimals, it doesn't really change the value of the decimal. And I think that makes sense to you. If I said 1.10, that that's the same thing as 1.1, which is the same thing as 1.100, right? It's all 1 and 1 tenth. And these zeros just kind of add extra digits of precision, which actually don't change the actual value. And, and uh, maybe later when I'm teaching you comp computer programming and computation, the precision might matter. But for now, it doesn't. It's just the value. So I added this 0 here. And you can always do that. You can add trailing zeros without actually changing the value of the number. And now we're really ready to add. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 9 is 17. 1 plus 0 plus 9 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 7 is 8. And then bring down this 1, right? Because it's nothing to add it to. And we could have even added a leading 0 here if you wanted to. My wife's a doctor, and she said it's key that you always add that leading 0 so that no one gives someone the wrong amount of medicine. But anyway, so now we are almost done. We've done the addition, and now we just have to figure out where to put the decimal point. Well, the decimal point just drops straight down. And we're able to do that because we already lined up the decimal points. So the answer to this problem is 1.8075. It seems complicated, but all you have to do, line up the decimal points, add zeros where appropriate, and add. And if you know how to add, you already know how to do this. Let's do another problem. 58 .75 plus 0.028. Now, if, I, if you saw a problem like this written in this format, your temptation might be to immediately start adding. Add the 5 to the 8, the 7 to 2, the 8 to 0, and then just bring down the 5, or, or something of that nature. And you would be wrong. And, and I think you realize why you'd be wrong, because you forgot the first step. The first step is line up the decimal points. When you're doing addition with decimals, the number one step is line up the decimal points. So let's line up the decimal points. So we can just rewrite that top number again, 58.75. And now let's rewrite the bottom number so that the decimal points line up. So we'll put the decimal points right below it. And it's 0 0.028. Eight. And now we can add. And just like before, you might say, well, how can I add nothing to this 8? We can add a trailing 0 to this top number, because it really doesn't change the value of the number. And now it kind of gives us a sense of security. We have something to add to the 8. So let's do that. 0 plus 8 is 8. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. 
8 plus blank space is 8. And we could have had a 0 there, and it would have been the same thing. Had the leading 0, we wouldn't have given someone the wrong amount of medicine. 5 plus blank space is 5. And we just drop down that decimal point, And we're done. It's that straightforward. You line up the decimal points, add any zeros that might uh, make you feel more comfortable, because it's, it's often more comfortable to add to a, a 0 than to add to a blank space. And then you do your addition, and then you drop down the decimal point. The answer is 58.778. And it's always good to, to kind of do a reality check to, to say, well, does my answer make sense? I have 58.75, so roughly 58, almost 59, 58 and 3 quarters. And I'm adding a very small number to it. I'm adding 0 0.028. So my answer shouldn't, shouldn't change much, I guess is the way I, you could view it. It should still be around 58 something, because I'm only adding a very small amount. If you had done it this way, and you had just started adding immediately, you would have gotten some, you would have gotten 59 point something. And you're like, boy, but I only added 0 0.028, not 0.28. And you've you been a little bit suspicious of your answer. I hope I didn't confuse you. But it, it's a really healthy to always think about the magnitude of your numbers and get a feel for just what you are adding, and not always uh, do it uh, purely mechanical. Although, sometimes it is fun just to chug through things. Plus, now let's, let's do one more problem, just, just for, for good measure. I have some time left on the video. Um, 102.1 plus 2.4. So once again, think about magnitude. 102.1 plus 2.56, that should be like 104 point something. I won't do it in my head. We'll do it on paper. So first thing, we line up the decimal points. 102.1 plus, line up the decimal points, 2.56. Now we can add a trailing 0 here, and we're ready to add. 0 plus 6 is 6. 1 plus 5 is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4. 0 plus nothing is 0. 1 pl plus nothing is 1. Bring down that decimal point. 104.66. It was that easy. Hopefully it's easy. I don't want to make you think that it's, it's uh, easy if you're finding it hard, because it actually is hard the first time you do it. But anyway, I think you're ready now to try the, um, the module on adding decimals. I, I hope you have fun.